letter to your rented house with the following message. Dear addressee, in July 2016, an archaeological expedition found a postal stagecoach looted in 1896, next to which a few undelivered postal items have been recovered. Some of them were well preserved thanks to the quality packaging. One of these packages cut into my hands by the will of destinies. It contained an excerpt from the notes of a so-called unfinished case of Holmes, about which there were many rumors. After having read the surviving pages, I realized that the story could not be completed without having access to the most important part of this story. The house that contained important clues. Therefore, I'm sending you, the tenant of this house, all materials, hoping that the clues can still be uncovered and you can follow the steps of Mr. Holmes and crack the case to the end. By doing so, you will not only complete the work begun by the greatest detective in history, but you can also expect a very generous reward if you decide to publish the story. Still, the most important achievement of all would be to prove the innocence of a person who was charged with a crime, even if you do it 120 years later. Good luck. Belongings of the first owners were still stored in the attic of this old Victorian house. Now it's time to open the door to more than a century old mystery. Okay, here's the letter. Dear addressee, in July 2016, an archaeological expedition found a postal stagecoach looted in 1896, next to which a few undelivered postal items have been recovered. Some of them were well preserved thanks to the quality packaging. One of these packages got into my hands by the will of destiny contained... Oh, is that what he said? Yes. Okay. That's exactly what he just oh, said. Oh, okay. Good luck. <laughs> Too now long, dinner Good, Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Don't die. Quick play. <clears throat> okay. Uh, today I received a very strange letter from an anonymous person. You want to read it? No, I'm okay. okay. <laughs> Usually I don't deal with such letters, but my passion for cryptology took over. A few random pages of an old album and the key to this house were attached to this letter. I had sensed the signs of crime and therefore sent a messenger to Scotland Yard. I have approximately 120 minutes until our brave constable will reach the house to destroy all evidence. I'd rather use this time to conduct my own investigation, and I believe that there is a need to start by sorting the album pages in the right order and understanding from the encrypted letter what the first clue is to help me unravel the case. S. Home. Key. Okay, we gotta put our answer in there. All right, so we gotta sort the album pages in the right order and get something from the encrypted letter. Oh, it looks like the encrypted letter has a key. Mm hmm So none of you have uh, played this, right? Nope. No. Okay. No idea. No idea. Okay. And this is like last. So here's that's what it came in. This is yeah, just the, the box that it came in. Okay. So maybe it's uh. It's by we'll ID Venture. In order. So it's asking us the first thing to do is to put the album in order? Is that album in order and understanding from the encrypted letter what the first clue is to help me unravel the case. Got to put in the first clue. Dear Mr. Holmes, this is my last letter on this land and I am addressing it to you. Tomorrow, which is underscored, it's underlined, that might be um, important. Tomorrow I will be leaving my house and my country. I know that I will be accused of murder, but I need you to know I am innocent. This place is damned. Demons keep on following us. They took my beloved wife, and now I need to protect our children. I could not crack this mystery. I knew that Scotland Yard would not succeed as well and would incarcerate me in the tower. Tower's uppercase, okay. I have no other choice but to leave. However, I will not hide. I will encrypt all details of my family and the destination I am heading to through cryptology. This will help me gain some time which is necessary to prove my innocence. I believe it, it, I believe it is all about the mystery, mysterious mask. Ooh. 
I was warned not to take it to England, but I did not listen. Now I must go back to the place where it all began, to the original location of the mask. So what do they call it? The mysterious mask? If you decooed, if you decooed to Finn's me, star with first clue, I give ya, which is clue. named after my wife. They're like misspelled words. Probably a part of it. There, yeah, this is definitely something that we're gonna need to like. Yeah. yeah solve. Despite the fact. Oh, sorry. Yeah, despite the fact that we do not know each other, and you are do only you the person I trust yeah, who can crack this case and help me prove my innocence. By the way, it's not cryptology. It's um, um, what do they call it steganography. So the U is so if supposed you to be an Decide L. to fins find me. Yeah. And then Please? there's symbols. Uh, Maybe there's another cipher machine. Location cipher machine. No, oh, we don't need that yet. So I found a couple things about the map. Okay. Oh, yeah. From Australia, it looks like. Okay, and what did the app say we have to do first? Uh, sorting the album pages in the right order and understanding from the encrypted letter what the first clue is. Scratch paper? Oh, okay. I didn't know if we were writing on these things or... Uh, should we? No. no yeah. Save it for somebody else? These are, this is, quote unquote, all the album stuff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> album pages right here. We're supposed to sort them. Oh, my kid's cover. And that's the back. Oh, my Excuse me. Can I disappear? Uh, yes, yeah, she had a Um. Alright, scratch papers. Thank you. How many pages are there in the book? Mm -hmm. the, the photographs. Go ahead, go over. <laughs> All these right here that yeah. I have? Yeah. How many are there? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, there could be. The order yeah. they're supposed to go in? Maybe. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. eight, nine, ten, nine. eleven, yeah. twelve, twelve. twelve. The first page. This one. Yeah. The inkwell one. The inkwell one. The one. Music. So we're looking at it based on the order um, of the, the. Those tell us the order of the pages, basically. Yeah, right. I think Ooh, that, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, the record. Record. Uh, coin. This one. That's the yeah. Uh, paper boat. The t Daily Telegraph clock. Uh, this has a sundial on it. This has degrees, minutes, seconds. This is angles. Oh, this is an, uh, that the one, sun. That one is this one. So yeah, I mean, this looks like a sun. Sundial? Does that go anywhere else on there? Mm. Oh, I'm pretty, it might be this one. What else would it be? Because this one has like horses on it. More like a oh. map, right? That one look like this? Yeah, horse? yeah. I don't know. Possibly. Oh. If these are like um... Constellations? Yeah, yeah, then yes. Okay. Then yeah, I see that one. So this that one. one. And then the constellations. And that one. Oh, and then the constellations, yeah. And then that one. That's that one. one. And then the mess. Alright. And then this is probably the last one. Hold on. But is it one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, I'm just making sure. Eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. We have to make sure we're going the right order. Alright, okay, so we have the album is now in order. It might have tricked us and like it might have. the hours <laughs> might have swapped <laughs> it in a place. It didn't hurt to double check. Okay. 
And now we need we need a clue from the encrypted letter. Um, okay. So tomorrow is underlined. Okay, so what's the date here? It's 23. June 23, 1896. Okay, so tomorrow, mm -hmm. 24. Um, that's what it's decode. So decide. Yeah, so. Or is it U to O? No, it's decode. Decide. If you decide, oh, if you dec oh, I thought you said decode. No, okay. yeah, if you decide to so find U to I, S to D, because to find, because it says fins, me, star with two R's, so start. R becomes T. R becomes T. With the first clue, W becomes E. I U Q Y. I don't know what that is. I'll get it. No. Oh, maybe that's... Which is named after my wife. So what is his wife's name? We're looking for his wife's name. So four letters were missing, right? Removed. You... Decide. D-E-C-I-D-E. -E. So first it was I-D-D. -E. Okay. And this is where he's going to be. Or this is a place, too, right? right? Yeah. The timer's up here. Oh, okay. Two hours. Okay, so there was um, some different thing, decoding things, and there's one on here. But that goes letters to numbers. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it says specifically that this, um, sort, sort the album. And then understand the encrypted letter, what the first clue is to help me under the case. So when we when it, we're gonna answer whatever the encryption is in yeah. here and then we'll move on basically. Yeah. And it also has hints on here, which is interesting enough. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. So I'm use the hints. Yeah. Oh. You click it and you get a hint. Yeah. It gives yeah. It also has tools. It says you need Like, do we have a certain amount of hints? Um, Are we know. trying to avoid using hints? Yeah. Okay. Start with the first clue. Did you already fold the thing up and put it where we needed to be? Yeah. Okay. I don't see anything in here that's going to help us. As far as the... I think this is going to tell us what pages we're going to be utilizing. No other keys on here, at least. What was the other thing that was weirdly capitalized or something? Um, tomorrow. Oh, um, we don't open these the, until they're Oh, the here, tower. Right? So tomorrow's underline the tower. The tower. It's a place. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. because of, yeah. It's a place. Okay. Uh, Is there anything on the back of the page? No. It's no. It's funny. Yeah. Mr. Holmes, 2306, 1896. Named after my wife. I. Hold on. Hmm. I mean, yeah, keep keep going. I'm just. Okay. <laughs> Let me get a piece of paper. W. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. I Y G G Good. Not close to D now. Has it that? Next to each other, right here. This is this normal is like keyboard. A it's a normal keyboard. Yeah. It's a okay. QWERTY keyboard. Uh, keyboard. Yeah. So it went. It's like he typed it one over. Then. So the I and the U are next to each other. So it went U to I. W to E. R to T. Oh yeah. F to D. 
Yeah, that's exactly what happened. So which way do we need to go? I back to you. So it's or decoded. The other, or the other way. Hold on. So so in its encoded state, it is E becomes I'm sorry, U becomes I, right? So U becomes I. So everything is in an encoded state, so we have to decode it. We gotta go oh, So I would go. I yeah. would become I U. Right. Y goes to T. I don't know if this is right. <laughs> goes, no. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's the other way. But it might I goes to O. Y goes to U. And E goes to R. R. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Then G goes to H. Our home. I goes to O. Y goes to U. Our house. A goes to S. Our house. Go. Our house. Got it. So we're going to go ahead and put the answer in here? Yep. Yeah, our house. A lowercase. In the middle of the street. <laughs> go ahead, push the answer. <laughs> Fail! Just kidding. <laughs> you are absolutely right. House is the first evidence to start solving the mystery. Nine o'clock, page nine, has constellations as the main event. Or, sorry, main element. All other pages follow the same pattern. I believe you sorted all other pages using the same pattern, and on the first page you will see the house. We already sorted the album. That's There's the house. house. After reading the letter, I decided to visit the house. It was just a three minute walk from me. The address was obvious from the album. 145 slash M, Bedford Avenue, mm -hmm. London. That's, that's in uh, bold. Is that already on there? No. I want to write that down. 145 slash M. Bet Ford. Slash M, really? Slash M, yeah. Maybe that's the thing. Avenue London. Inside the house, there was no sign of life, and in the garden, I discovered the fresh grave of the house mistress with many flowers. No other signs of her husband, kids, or their identity could be found. An additional strange fact was that none of the neighbors knew any details about the family. I had a feeling that I was dealing with ghosts. It's time to follow the instructions and find the name of the house mistress. Alright. So we're just utilizing this page then. Yeah, it sounds like. like. Uh. <laughs> okay. So it looks like this is... Sudoku Park Puzzle Gallery. To plan in house at Bedford. Oh, it is on there. 145 slash. Six. M. Oh, this it's a symbol. Oh. That's M. Let me know that's M. So what? So so that weird. It, the weird symbol's M. Yeah. Okay. That's just the sound of time is running out. <laughs> 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 um, Duku Park Puzzle Gallery. Sudoku. Well, Sudoku. So we know the <laughs> is where none of the same. Is this a circular Sudoku? This is yeah. You're trying to solve this. Okay, so right. the numbers uh, one through six need to be all in each third of the pie. So need each symbol needs to all be across. Okay. And then each layer. So the symbols are like the numbers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Under, right there. Okay. So oh, and then eight, and then those symbols A and L have different tells you that letters. Too. Okay. Uh, so we need to solve the puzzle. So these are all the. See how they're all different here. Right. So, so those are different the, here. All different here. All different here. Right. And these are the ones we use. All different here. Here, and here, and then, and then also. It's Sudoku. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So go ahead and write down the puzzle and then take it. Right. And try and solve it. I mean, I imagine that's what they're going for. Yeah. Yep. Another thing, like I said, <laughs> Sudoku. I instantly just don't know what's going on. I, mean, I, 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 I grasp what they want, but. Yeah. Is it four? And can oh, you you crap. can use letters or you can use those you symbols or numbers, numbers, right? Yeah. It'd be easier probably it's if you want to use the numbers. Angry. Three, one. 
two, all right, across, two, five, and then probably four, I imagine, right? Yeah, and then, well, then what's that? That was one. That's a one. That's the M. Five. Five. Here is six. Okay, that's what we start with. So yeah, three and four are going to be here. But this one can't be three because there's already a three here. Yeah. So we put three here and four here. So all is part of it. Um, yeah, so we got this one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's not right. This is the wrong there. Hmm? Right here, that shouldn't be two, five, four. Shouldn't it be three, four, five? I'm sorry, no. four, five, six. No, the no. order. The order doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. Yeah, you just have to have the numbers. No, right here, this one. One, two, three. No, you really can't. This one. Those this are just, just examples. This is the rules. No, so these are the three, three different three, rules. One through six in here. Yeah. One through six in here, and one through six yeah. here. All six symbols need okay. to be in each portion. Okay. Any okay. order. I thought it was. It had to be one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, I got it. So here that makes sense. Okay. So, oh, gotcha. Five and two. Okay, we don't know yet. Here Could you? Need three well, here. And six. We can't put six here because it's already here. Mm -hmm. This one. Six. Three. Okay. I was about to ask you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to read it. Yeah. First one. Um, there's, okay, we got that pie wedge. And we got that one. Okay. Across maybe? This is gonna be four and two. Not yet. Okay. Um, this one's gonna be five, five and, and two. two. Yeah. Middle circle, we have two and four left, right? Mm -hmm. So four can't be here because there's a four there. It has to be two. Yeah. That means we know this one. It's five. Got it. Yeah. And last two is one. One and two. One and two. This is two. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful. Okay, so we got the puzzle. Now what? So now we have to figure out how right. it matches the letters. There's letters around here, too. Oh, right, the symbols. And we already have two. You're looking for her name. We got three, so there's an M. We know the first one's M, right? There's symbols along here too. Yeah, so we can decipher that after. That's the name, right? Yeah, the name Maybe. we're looking for. Oh, it is. Okay. But okay. Um, Zero. So that's A. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Oh. Oh, the first one then. Yep. Right? Yep. I mean, that makes sense for these two at least. Four. It, yeah. The first so it's one. So always the first one. Yep. Yeah, so we already solved it. Yeah. We've already solved it. So this is A and L. So two is N. Five is K. And six is E. And now we can use that to solve here. Right. M. Uh, six. six. Yeah. Four. L. Six. Two. Melanie. Three. Melinda. Melinda. Try it. Sounds good to me. Woo! Got it. All right, spell it out for me. M E E L E N A. The answer is correct. Yay. Nice. Melinda <laughs> is the right name. If you got Helena, then you haven't used the then you haven't used the address to discover first letter, but for the first time it's fine. Oh, yeah, but we did. So. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, that was like the first thing we figured out. Mm-hmm. Was, it was a story with an M. Okay, and then now we have this interesting thing. One has a picture. It says, exploring the house, I visited the library and some strange things caught my eye. The inscription on the bookshelf and the envelope with pieces of a broken vinyl on the gramophone. Could these two things lead me to the husband's name, which is in bold? So we're gonna find the husband's name, I think. Let's open the envelope to the with the gramophone to find out. It's the gramophone. Okay. So we're utilizing. We have this as a as as a tool as One, well. One, two, too. three. Okay. What's inside? Uh-oh. A puzzle. <laughs> a broken record. A broken record. <laughs> Uh, so it's a broken record and we're trying to figure out what order it goes in. I'm I have full and to- total faith in you guys. <laughs> Alright, and... I don't know nothing about music. <laughs> Neither do I. Uh, okay, uh, we're looking for the husband's name. This is a picture we have here. One A-U-T. Two one Three and A something. Oh, let's go back. Oh, oh, author your name. Okay. That helps. Oh, it's looking for the actual record too, like what it's supposed to be. Can we read the description again? Do we need to use the the book at all? Um, Exploring. exploring the house, I visited the library, and some strange things caught my eye. The inscription on the bookshelf. So, it's all bookshelf. This is the bookshelf. And the envelope with pieces of a broken vinyl on the gramophone. Could these two things lead me to the husband's name? Let's open the envelope with the gramophone and find out. Is there anything else in there? Nope. I'll find your name. Do these fit like together? Not really. Okay. Hold on. The one with the record? Yeah. Oh, they yeah. fit on there. Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's literally just like a jigsaw puzzle. I feel like we skipped something. I guess we probably didn't it because it brought us straight to your home. Right. But I don't know because it could go in like any order, right? We're actually trying to like. <coughs> probably only one <coughs> way it actually fits together. See, this needs to be a lighter piece. Yeah, can't go with this. Oh. See how it's shiny there? Oh, gotcha. Oh, I didn't see that. This part is a little bit shiny too. Could you move the tablet? Yeah. Thanks. We want this as well. See, because we missed the this page right here. We had nothing to do with that page. Maybe we'll come back to it. Oh, was this the third page? Uh, this is the third page. Oh, but that's the page we need. That's yeah. the page we need. Yeah. Okay. 100%. Unless, well, this might help us too. That's the second page. Because it's got pages from some of the books, I think. Oh, I get it. We we're supposed to, okay. Okay, so author, you. So it doesn't matter if we put the record in order if we can't figure it out. Mm-hmm. So we're not going to be able to figure out the author, you know year and date from that. Year and name. Another year and name. Where do we think Where do we Victor? There's <laughs> Moby Dick. AC a. Doyle Cryptology. Oh, that's got le- missing, that's got notes yeah. where letters should be. Okay. I will help with I think. Looks like it goes. Okay, so this one. We got one, two. And a four. And then a long one. I totally forget what this is called. The travel <laughs> club? Travel club. Okay. 
four is an E. Are you solving the mystery? We're just following the trail clues. Yeah, I and Oh! Ha! T. Ha! U. Easy. What is easy? Have you discovered it? No. <laughs> but I think it's not easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it is just the alphabet. E, F, G, H, yeah, J. Yeah, yeah. So, and then oh. these, maybe these ones are the. It starts here. Oh, and then, okay, yeah, because it always starts, should start with the treble clef. Yeah. Then, but some of them add two letters, so. Let me show you how to do it. So, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So what's going on with this here? Okay, I know what to do here as soon as we figure out how to get here. I know what to do here. So. Well, I think those are the, the letters that we need in an order. In order for his name? Yeah. So we gotta find out which one each means what, right? Yeah. So we get a T and then an E. Where'd you get those? And a G. The and that's the here. This is this, this is, is a key to that. Yeah. Just write them all down and then you can figure out the order as yeah, if you look at exactly. it. Exactly. And then either an L or an N. We either an L or an N. There's they yeah. mark twice on there. And then an oh sorry, L or a V. And then an N or an S. That doesn't make sense. Maybe it could say that way. No. Not enough vowels. A, C, D, E, F, G, okay. Okay. Go back, search around. Ah. Uh, G. So we have that as a G, yeah. This also tells you which uh, chord they're on, too. Oh. They're on different chords. Yeah. Uh, How do you know that this is the way they go? We fit the puzzle together. Because you see the black parts. See the shiny parts. Oh, yeah. okay. And it doesn't really go in any other order. <laughs> Someone found that. Go back. Oh. Search so, around. Search around. Second yeah. so, Go back. Author your name. His name will go down in the adventure book. Captain Paul Panthile. It's got pages from uh, all, See this all these books, which are here. Mm -hmm. Those are two things. No, they should be only his name. Author your name. So I guess maybe the letters are different if they're on different uh, keys, like Michael said. Probably. That's why this doesn't make sense. These are different. Let's we'll see if we can match it on there for these, for each one. We got an S up there. Bottom. Bottom for the L thingy. A? Is that an A? Go Wait, back. Which one is it? This one? That one's an A. Okay. Or a V. Um, yeah, but it's an A oh. on the on this. Oh, gotcha. Oh, right. Because on this line. Uh -huh. Oh, all these lines are the letters at the beginning of the alphabet. 
Mm -hmm. So these are all the low one. These are the higher one. Okay, so then this one here is S. For sure. So we got that. Okay, S, A. This one is in the middle. Is this a single line, G? M. Oh. And this one is Dumas. Second one. And it's the B. Mm -hmm. Am I doing it right? Yeah. I don't know. Why are you saying it's T? Oh, because it's on there. I see oh, it's got four. No, you. Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's Dumas. It's Dumas. Dumas. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. there's a bunch of Dumas. <laughs> one, four, so, one, one, four, nine, eight, and eight, eight, four, nine, 1984. 1849. 1849. Oh, is it actually 18. in that specific order though? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. One, eight, four, nine. Okay, so that's the year. Okay, we got the Author, the year. It could be mixed up. Need the name. <laughs> so it has to be this right here, right? For what? The the last clue. We the name. So you should figure that. out the name. Oh. We used that to figure out that these were all on different lines. So. Who, what did Dumas write in 1984? Maybe it's on here? Yeah, check. The Three Musketeers. No, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, the Three Musketeers. The Three Musketeers. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, it then, right? Name of the book? The Three Musketeers. Uh-huh. All right, so the first thing it's going to ask is... We need the husband's name, though. Oh. There's it. Captain underline is there a captain? Mm. Well, see the thing is, um, yeah, these two in the letter he wrote, he oh. put captain in retirement. I even marked it out. Okay, so there's different pages here, and there's one page from Three Musketeers, and it says, "Arrest the Duke, arrest the Prime Minister of King Charles the First. Think of it, sire, what a scandal! Could it be Charles then? All of these have." Names. Oh, names. oh, oh, yeah. Names. Tom. Robinson. Robinson. Edmund. It, so that only has one name. Yeah. So it's the, it's the one. It's the one from the Three Musketeers. Or Duke. <laughs> oh, it's okay. probably Charles. Charles. So you want to write down Charles. the father's name is or the husband's name is Charles. Charles. Yeah. yeah. Xavier. C H A R. L E S? Yeah. Okay, we're incorrect. Uh, really? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm. Do we need to know who says that? Captain's underlined. Is he a captain? You have to put Captain Charles. Do we get the year right? Is it eighteen forty nine? Could be anything else? No, the three message here says 1849 next to it, so. And Alexander Dumas didn't write the three musketeers. Didn't or did? Did. Did. Mm -hmm. So, that's right. I mean, it's gotta be it. Was this is a Dumas book as well. But 1849. How do we know that it's, is this the three musketeers? It looks like it. Well, anyone could be it. Mm -hmm. Edmund is, this is, Edmund, is Tom, yeah. that's, Tom Sawyer. This is uh, what's it called? That's that's not the one. This is um. Uh, the Monte Cristo. Yeah. Which was also Dumas. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is Robinson Crusoe. Mm -hmm. Ventures. Tom. Tom Sawyer. Yeah. yeah. So, did we get, should it be... Wait. 
count isn't on here. Mm -mm. Did you enter the name right, Mike? Charles? Mm -hmm. King Charles, maybe? No. No, 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 no. it's not. He's the not husband's a king. name. Yeah, the husband's name. Is that the first thing we we're maybe supposed to enter? Captain? Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. It's, it's Captain, Captain Charles. Because that's what I was saying. Because in his letter, he said Captain in retirement. Comma. <laughs> I'd say Captain Charles. All right. C A P T A I N. Yep. Space. C H A R O E S. Capital C. I mean, oh, just in case. There you go. We good? Captain Charles? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No! Oh. We only have a certain amount of guesses. When we guess, we run out of time. We lose time. Do we? Yeah. We have, we have time, though. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My collection of adventure books. <laughs> his name will go down in the adventure books name or it will go down as crossed out so his name in the adventure books okay yeah his name is in the adventure books it's one of these Edmund is the only other Dumas book I'm gonna try Edmond Edmond right um, E-D-M-O-N E D M O N D. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Oh. <laughs> what? So is Edmund? Yeah. You would hide your riddles better. Let's see what's next. Next level. So Edmund and Malena lived in this really? house. Really? How, how do we not get that? But it is not possible to we check all people with the name Edmund in London. I need more information about him. Judging by Edmund's letter, he used to be a sailor, and maybe a fragment of the photo found in a paper bin could lead me to his family name in bold. Let's open the envelope with the photo camera and check it out. So let's put this away. says you how to fold this. Well, we did it. We just had to, we just had to we need the oh. last name of Edmund. Okay. So wait, wait that was that you just had to fold that? Callie, how did that work? Right there. See? Oh I see. It's gonna tell us now how to fold it. Which one do we start with? Which corner? Well it doesn't matter because it's these actually has lines to fold, not this one does. It oh. has to be these two. But it's Or do you out. fold it the other way? Is yeah. It Maybe that way. Yeah. I'm making it looks like so this is an award list of people who received this award. Looks like we got Edmund got the award, so we'll be able to find his last name. We're looking for all of the E's since we know Edmund is his first name. Head in. And it shows what uh, ship they were on in the Crimean War. And then what? I don't know what this letter is. Oh, battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, what battle they were in. So we should be able to use... So you know, one of the last name E, or first name E. Yeah, we've got Pedden. Patterson. First one, Patterson. Oh, yep, there's Patterson. HMS Athene. 
quarter. Red four. Richard. Richie. No, Richie. <laughs> Richie. And is there a little okay. thing there? No, I, can, I actually looked for the anchor and I couldn't find the anchor. On there. In there it's supposed to, cause it's supposed to be a ship, right? Look. Yeah. Yeah, they, you make it to a ship, yeah. but there's a this is missing. But that's just folding that up. That There's a direction up. missing. The thing is, uh, that, that's uh, not that big of a deal because you can tell what you do in I between. Um, but it's just hard to tell which way the paper is actually supposed to go to get the image. How many people have the last name or first name you? There's like five or six on? We got six. Yeah. Six with an E first name. And then walk the narrow county by the ship or the battle. Battle is everything with the swords. That's going to tell us where it was on the map. And I think this is going to help us with the. Close but no cigar. Other way. Nope. There, it's right there. Nope. Okay. That not look like a boot. Oh yeah. Oh hey, yeah, look at that. HMS. <laughs> Athens. Athens. Okay, which one had was Athens? Okay, so we Patterson was on there. Pedant was not. Oh, it was Athen Bar. Oh, okay. Sorry, Pedant. Okay, what's the next one? Order was not. Red for E. HMS Athen Stone. Okay. Richards. Athen Stone. Richie Athen Will. Ah, they're all Athen. <laughs> <laughs> so that did not help much. HMS. Yeah, they all say H HMS. Okay. So now we have to check the battles they fought. Yeah. Okay. I think. Patterson fought at T. T? At Grog. Pedin fought at O. else on here. Oh, a sailor and a ship are inseparable. Admiral Nelson. Not supposed to go right here, right? Yeah. But we did. Right, right, right. Oh. Did this actually come inside the envelope? Yes. Yeah. I see. Not that in this. Anything else? Yeah, the missing letters. Mm -hmm. That's all. I'm not sure. What I was thinking was you'd be able to find out which ones were killed, right? So first off, they're French and English troops, so we know they're going to be the yellow, right? So we can follow the battles. Um, what's the difference between the thick lines and the small lines? So troops concentration. No, those. Like little yeah, those. Portrait of battle. So we were only able to cross off two people or even just one? Just one. Wow. Yeah. Right, this one is actually. Because they're Athen, Athen Stone, Athen Will. And the only thing we got was Athen, right? Yeah. Was there any other hit maybe in the photograph? Does it look like it? Um, 
This just has Crimea on it. Oh, oh I guess it could, it's more zest and soul. Oh, it looks like he was at Sebastopol. That's right here. With the S, so it could be Redford. That looks like that's where he was. Could be. I think that's it. Redford. Red Ford E. R E D. Edmund. Yeah. R E D. Correct. That's it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Edmund nice. Yay. Redford, a sailor and hero. Very strange combination for a criminal. So where did you go, Edmund? Next level. Now I understand to whom the message in the envelope that I discovered in the nautical amulet almanac was addressed to. Dear Mr. Redford, in memory of our brave past in Crimea, I am willing to help you. My ship will be leaving as soon as the sundial cannon in the as soon as the sundial cannon in the port fire fires. This coin will allow you boarding the ship. I hope you will find your luck in a new country. When did the ship leave? We need the departure date and time in order to find out the ship's final destination in bold. Let's use the envelope with a ticket on it. We will need the Edmund's first letter as well. So we're looking for a departure date and time? <coughs> yeah, looking, yeah, final destination is what we're looking for. Uh, so tomorrow is, he's going to leave his house in the country. But yeah, so. we'll need the date and time in order to find out the final destination. So we have the date. It's the date after, day after this. Right, 6 1896. Mm -hmm. So the time we have this clue, a little coin, and. Sort of kind of yes. degrees on it. Mm -hmm. okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five different departures on the twenty fourth. There's a sundial right there we already do. Oh okay. yeah. uh -huh. It was in there as well. Victoria de Gras, Brit, Regina, Gold, Fresh. The coin will allow you boarding the ship. I will hope you find your luck in a new country. Is there another page that involves the ship in No, it's not. Uh... Okay, so our angle alpha. Alpha is. That's just telling us how to do it. Alpha is going to equal. Flag plus bomb minus all that stuff. So we need to find <laughs> out all the symbols. Maybe there's some info on here if you see the symbols. It is. Three. See the gold rush. The gold rush is mentioned on the coin. Mm hmm. <laughs> Australian gold rush. So these circles look kind of like those circles. There's degrees in the weather. There's mm -hmm. a weather. Physically measure A. A is going to be um, 60 degrees. Why? Because it's what we measured. We put this on Sundial Canyon time calculation. It tells you where to mark it. It says mark this, the barrel, mm -hmm. 
at three. So we mark it right there at three. And at 60. Okay. And we wanted A. So from here to there, that's 30 degrees. From or is 60, it just telling us how to use it? Could be telling us how to use it, who knows. But, well, we have that. We have know. the Roman numeral three. 60 degrees. A sundial cannon is a device consisting of a sundial incorporating a cannon with a fuse that is lit by an overcharging lens, concentrating the rays of the sun and causing the cannon to fire. So these are cannonballs. Yeah. This is suggesting the top cannonball, I imagine. So yeah. perhaps we should. Find out what this is a puzzle, which means this one has a number on it. So that's what I imagine. All the rest of them have numbers, right? Yeah, three of them have one though. They're all the corners. Sixteen is two eight no. You know, pattern. Yeah, there's. <laughs> one, four, one. Sun dial we have. One to six. Sounds like time to me, right? Twelve and three, <laughs> 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 because that's the only ones that were cut there. Are there any? How many between twelve and three? All of them. The twenty-fourth. Oh, yeah, they're all. That one. No, that's three. <laughs> Where is he going? He's definitely going to Australia, right? Talking about the Western Australia gold rush. Yeah. I mean, that makes we're sense. also talking about Klondike, Alaska, too, though. So. Go, go, go. Oh, there's gold. And then Portland. England after gold. Is there is so, Portland on there? Portland, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say that's wind speed. Right? That looks like one of those things for gauging wind speed. Like a flag. You see the airports and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And so I was also thinking we do have the weather report, which is 11 degrees. Oh, or what, this wind speed. might be telling us how to solve this. There's a little triangle puzzle. Yeah. Five, two, three, three, five, eight. eight. Three. Also, this is two plus five. three is five. One plus two is three. Three plus five is eight. 
One plus two is three. Three plus five is eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Um, oh, eight plus... I think I solved it then. Yeah. Um, so the lower ones represent, the, both of these two and three represent five, right? Mm -hmm. So four, one, three, and then the hidden one that's underneath there would be 13, right? Which would be five, right? Okay, five is in the middle. I show you, so I, I, yeah, I put okay, that. Yeah, okay, you got it. And so on this side, if that was five, that'd be nine, 10, so that'd be a six. All right, and then you have in the eight, six, seven, and five for this one here, which would be 26, and then this one on this side would be 16. 16. And then I add all three of those up, or four, all four of those up to make the top one here, which is 71. Okay, so then we turn the dial to 71. And what time are we at? Between two and three. Does that mean anything? Is that actually yeah. correct? The departure dates. Yeah, because you're looking for the times. Well, but the times are all on the hour. Boom. Two o'clock. You think it's two o'clock? To me, it's in between. Where is the clock at? Huh? How did we get 70, 71? From here. It's the only thing that it's hitting. It, this shows how to read it. Once we get, oh, we gotta add stuff to it though. Yeah. Oh, the wind speed. Wind speed. Oh, okay. Wind speed is 11. So 82. 82. And then we gotta subtract. What's that? Sun, rain? Sun oh, down lowest. and sun up. Sun down and sun up. No, that's not on here. Wind, rain, or lowest and highest? No. What's in the little box? Um, it's unreadable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something on the ticket. Oh! Yeah, sun up, sun down. I get it. Divided by two. Six. Oh, sunrise and sunset, 6 a.m. and 8 p.m. Okay, sun sundown is when? Sundown is eight p.m. Okay. Sun up is six. Well, it doesn't matter. They're more. Um, eight. Yeah. yeah. What? It does matter. No, it doesn't. They're added. To, uh, you, you add them together. You add them together. Twenty-four hour clock. So we get eight, 14. and then what? What time is sundown? Six. Six. six so eighteen. Wait, it's six a.m. to eight p.m. Eighty-two. Mm. Eighty-two. Seventy-five. So okay, seventy-five degrees, right in between there. Just two. Okay, now it's exactly two o'clock. Yeah. So two. Two o'clock. Yeah. And that one. June twenty-fourth at two o'clock at uh, fourteen hundred hours. Which is uh, Liverpool to Perth, Australia. Yeah. Which yeah leaves at two o'clock. The final destination is. Perth. Australia. P-E-R-T-H? P -E yep. Yeah. That's correct. Australia, of course! Everyone is talking about the third gold rush, which is on its peak now. I never understood why it was necessarily to undertake such long journeys. But we have enough criminals in London. No need to go that far. Now, I understand why Edmund was talking about the mask. I heard about mysterious cases related to Australian Aboriginal objects. But which part of Australia did he go to? This might make a significant difference in the investigation. The object, which looks like a broken location cipher machine, seems to not really be broken. Um, and the place on a piece of map seems to be hidden on purpose. I found some comments which seem to belong to the machine. Let's open the envelope with a compass and see if it will bring us to the destined city. All right. And hold the destined city. With the compass. Got some puzzle pieces. Yeah. The dials. That's gonna Sorry. Cool. You might want to fix that. <laughs> 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 Don't it. Looks like they go together. Each has different cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could be the one. 
they use the Russian one? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do. Gonna solve it without you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're looking for the destination city. Milky Way map. All the stars which are visible from Earth are in the Milky Way galaxy. Looks like, okay, you landed in Perth and then you went to a destination here, which ends in A R D I E. The coordinates, we have the coordinates negative 30.9545. The location cipher machine. Oh, look, it's already put in. All right. yeah. We have one coordinate, we're looking for the other. Place the gears in the right location. Find the decoding key with the help of the Milky Way map and set it on the gear. Rotate right to get coordinates. Use a modern location device. Okay, so we're going to use this to get the key. Find the, to find the decoding key. Okay, that's going to tell us where the numbers go, I guess. The letter. 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 The letters will tell us where the numbers go. Okay, we're looking for three letters from here. We've got Perth. We've got a gold site there. Great Sandy De Desert, there's a Geraldton, Bunbury, Esperant Coast. So we're looking for the city now in Australia that he's at. Uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. from Perth that he goes to the city. And this ends with A-R-D-I-E. And we have the first coordinate, we're looking for the second coordinate. So it says use the, we're going to use this to find the key. Right. And then set it up. So we need three letters from this. Right. Place the gears in the right location. And the symbols, they match the symbol like on the outside. So that's simple. So the Milky Way map is supposed to help. I don't know how this is. No. <laughs> Oh, I see what it means. Okay. Yeah. Three minutes, seconds. Yeah. You know what this is supposed to. Yeah. You see how the symbol in the middle looks like the outside of this? Yeah, we might. Same. Them. That's how we know it's right order. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, but you don't know the rotation. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. We gotta find. Use the key. To, to find it in, in the in right, right location. location. Right. So we need the key first before they get moved. But they're they're in the right location. No, yeah, I got the symbol that, matches. Maybe we yeah. use these. So 30. 30 out here? No. So there's numbers. No okay. letters. So we're looking for, yeah, three letters. Use a modern location device. Yeah, well, we'll you need a phone. Yep. Or the tool. Okay. The map. Oh, let's see. Are there any three letters? All uh, the stars which are visible from Earth are in Milky Way galaxies. Are there any three letter ones? <laughs> three letter ones? Ram. For Ram. Find the Ram's decoding the key of the help. Is there an R? Mm -mm. No. Mm. Where, where, where'd you get the three letters from? We need three letters. Oh, gotcha. So, it's in June, right? June is the summer um, solstice or 
Oh, it is close to the solstice, yeah. Which is also, also in Australia, it's going to be the winter solstice or whatever. It's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'm trying to figure out what this represents. I'm guessing the different. What you can see. So it's going to be right here, something to do with this. This area, for oh. sure. The red, the red letters are the key to the cipher. How do you know that? Oh, those red letters? Well, that explains that these represent these red letters. Mm. So we figured out this map and how it works. On, the, on this thing here, it shows uh, the letters key, and then it says S-U-N, which is sun. We took the other... Um, key is sun. Yeah, well, the key, key is sun. And so we took this board here, we took the three little prong spinners, and we rotated it right, moved it around, uh, then it gave us the numbers, up, down, and up, and then we entered that into a coordinates on our GPS, and we found out that it is from, in West Australia, what's it called? Coolgardie. Coolgardie, in West Australia. So we now know the location, uh, now we need to know uh, what had triggered the poison. In the map. So we're open up the map envelope, and there's a bunch of maps. <laughs> Callie, oh, poison somebody! I guess represent the different elements here. This is the last page. Okay, we have two pages here. Alright, so what does it say? Um, in the Encyclopedia of Mythology, the Rainbow Serpent of Rainbow. Or rainbow, rainbow Snake. Or Rainbow Snake is a common rainbow serpent myth. Stories about the rainbow deity often a creator god in the mythology and... I think it's a common deity. Often oh, okay. A god in the mythology. I was like trying to read it. No, the two, two different pages. Motif in the art of Aboriginal Australia. It is named for the obvious identification between the shape of a rainbow and the shape of a snake. The rainbow serpent is one of the most common and well-known Aboriginal stories which are very important to their society. The rainbow serpent is one of the oldest continuing religious beliefs in the world and continues to be a cultural influence today. Rainbow serpent myths. Stories about how the rainbow serpent have been passed down from generation to generation. The most common motif in the rainbow serpent stories is the serpent as creator who created the land and people, divided them into seven tribes and placed them in different parts of the land, Australia. Each tribe worshipped one element represented by one holy mask. According to legend, each mask contained the information about neighboring tribes and their elements as colors, which allowed them to act as barriers to those regions. One of the studies cites the hypothesis that masks would immediately secrete a poison as a protection when elements get into contact with the wrong non-neighboring elements, their counterparts. Aborig Aboriginal people secretly kept the mask and until now drawings of only six masks were described and no final conclusion about this hypothesis was made. So we have the final mask here. We gotta put these on the map so that the elements represent the neighboring ones. That's what I guess, would guess. I'm guessing that's just an example, right? Yeah, so like... The other, this one is blue and red. The red is the only neighbor it has. This one has green and yellow and red, because that's all of the neighboring Same is the thing red for this and one. yellow. Mm -hmm. We have to place them in a way. So this one looks like it's going to be in near the middle. It's got a bunch of colors on it. Is there one right. it doesn't have? So, um, short red. up, that's way in the ocean. Yeah, that's the other one. Right, so yeah, but it's gonna be next to this one. What's that? I mean, it already is. Oh. Because right. of the ocean? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's considered a boundary. So there was one, two, three, four, five. Is there five left? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay, so this one should just be blue and one other color, right? Victoria? Blue and yellow, maybe? No, that's, that's not purple. The red. purple. Yeah. Just 
Well, it has oh, three. No. It nope. has three. Does it? This one, this one, this one. Right. Oh, right. Wait. No, I don't think it's, that It'd one. be this one. Wait, no. So which one would only have two? If it only borders one country. This is throwing us off. Maybe that's not right. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that has one. True, and we have to use it there. And, and then, then other ones it. have two. But these ones both border that one. What? How? They uh, have that color in their mask, then they border it. Uh, so maybe. This one have that color in it. Have that. Then it'd be this. Could yep. Be. No, because this one would have their colors. Oh. Uh, right? Yeah. That's true. That's the confusing part about this one. So this one neighbors just one country. Or one it is one, one territory. No, it neighbors one territory. No, it also has to have its own color too. Yeah. Its own colors in the eyes. That, that's oh, the colors of the eyes. That's why all the color the eyes okay. are question marks. Yeah. Okay. Eyes is where they are. So then this one is blue. Oh, so it could be. No, so this this one goes here. We don't know what color it is. No, it's neighbor in one country, which is Victoria. Yeah. So this one is blue. So that one's blue. Victoria's but, blue. So anything one around of those it. Two. So this one could be here because this is blue. This is only has three. With the blue. Okay, is there any other blue one? No, that makes sense. Purple and orange, right? So Yeah. So that's fine. This one has blue. Okay, yeah, that, that has to be it for those. So Victoria is going to be something that is... Um, Victoria has to have the blue, though. Oh, Victoria is the blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we just have to find the... No. no, it is blue. We need to find what Victoria is. So they're saying... Oh, that, well, they're saying oh gotcha, because the eyeballs, it border is it. Yeah, but the Where eyeballs are blue. Yeah. So it could be it. So this one would... Mm. We don't. We got to figure out what these two colors are in order to find that one. Right. So Victoria is... We're going to have... Three two, colors. Two colors. Three. So it has this one, this one, and this one. And then one. the eyes. Oh, no, wow. the eyes. South Australia. New South Wales and whatever that is, Tasmania. So Victoria's gonna have three colors on it. Mm, um. It's gonna be. Okay. So, well, this one only has. Two colors, right? That yes. That one should be three. Two. Oh, two. Two, two because yeah, the third color is the eyes. Those are colors eyes. This one's That's three. <laughs> so those three are the last. Three. These all have three. Okay. Well, if that's the case, this one of these is blue. One of them is yellow. This one's blue. This one is yellow. This one's yellow. So we have to grab the one that has no yellow, which is that one. This one has no yellow either. But this one, so. This is neighboring. How is this neighboring uh, that? It's not. It's neighboring Victoria, which is a little light oh, blue. Oh, which is blue. Okay, okay. Blue. So Victoria is light blue. That means this is like the the dark blue, blue. or yellow. Okay. This is yellow. This is dark blue. Why? Because this one has yellow in it, and this one doesn't. Yeah, the only color this one doesn't have is red. 
No, no sorry. Red could be... They all don't have red except for this one. Yeah. That's a big hint. One, two, three, four, five. How many colors are those? Six colors. Uh, it also doesn't have... Oh, that okay. one's Victoria. Totally yep. is. Yep. This is dark blue, right? Dark blue, yep. Cause this one that one's gotta be dark blue. Yeah. yeah. Green. Okay, so... This is the meth that was found in the house. This is yellow? Yep. This one's purple. purple. Up here is mm, orange. Orange. And green. What else is green? Blue. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that's blue. The that's one red. Need, almost gonna be red. Mm -hmm. So we got it. Okay, okay, so now we need to find out. This is the mask that was found in the house, right? Mm -hmm. So our yes. neighbors, yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Yellow and dark blue. Is it dark blue? Because there's light blue too. Yeah, that's dark blue. Yeah, yeah dark blue. And yellow and dark blue. So it's gotta be... Gotta be from Western Australia. Well, I mean, that's yeah. already... A... We're looking for the element, right? Fire and... These are different colors, aren't they? I think it's the same. Because this is purple here. Is that the same? Oh, this is lighter. Yeah, I just put it in. See, there's th see that? Uh -huh. This is purple. Then you have light blue. And, dark and then blue. you have the dark blue, which is over here. Dark blue is fire. How much time do we have? We're still good, right? Yeah, we're still fine. What, we minutes. need to put the element, right? Was it fire or nature? What do you mean? We're looking for the element. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says we need to, uh, for activated, what, what, um, yeah, so they cover the mask with special poison based on the frog venom, and this poison is activated if it's kept under improper conditions, improper being another bold. Mm-hmm. And then what had triggered, we didn't know what had, we used the old myths in order to discover what had triggered the poison. There had to be, okay, poison and protection when elements get into contact with the wrong non-neighboring elements. Okay, so these are the good elements? I don't know. The non-neighboring ones would be... Purple, purple sun. Sun triggered it. What? <laughs> <laughs> the sun is with the purple one. Yeah. It has a death symbol there. Where'd you get purple from? The location. Wait, no, 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 babe. The, not the eyes, babe. right? The eyes are going to be purple. So there's six but, masks, but the this is this is dark blue or is this purple? It's dark, it's dark blue. blue. It's gonna be purple. I think she's right. Dark blue, yellow means that the eyes are purple. Mm -hmm. And the death to purple is the sun. Mm -hmm. Or is the element supposed to be anything that's not one of these? About the neighboring tribes and their elements of colors, which allow them to act as a barrier to those regions. One of the studies states the, states, cites the hypothesis that mass would immediately secrete a poison as protection when elements get into contact with the wrong non-neighboring element.
So when it gets in contact with things that aren't its neighbor. What information do we gather from this then? That's what I want to know. The color of the eyes. We don't know the color of the eyes. The color of the eyes is the location. Mm -hmm. But this is not the same as that one, so how do we know it's that location? These are different colors. Right? I still think it's the same. I think it's this is pretty. purple. This is purple. I think it's the printing variation. This, this whole thing right here is purple. These eyeballs are purple. You think mm -hmm. it's printing? So they found it in why West... Why would it be... Why? So, so they found it in West Australia, right? They got two different colored blues here, babe. Yeah. It's not, it's not misprinted. No, this is blue right there. That's blue. That's the, the dark The eyes blue. are going to be purple. We just can't see it because mm. they're question mark. So purple. Sun. There's a blue here and a blue there. So oh, it's the sun, then, is what you're saying? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I just have the word sun. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Thanks. I, I need to recover <laughs> and hide this mask before our brave constables decide to bring it to the police station, or even worse, give it away to a museum. I'll not be able to convince them that uh, they do not believe in myths even if they turn out to be real. God knows so many people could be in danger. Next level. I believe I practiced this case just in time. I see constables arriving. The yeah, reason for the nightmares yeah. and the death of Melina was a poison activated when the mask was exposed to the sun. Such poison was known to England and the police would say that this was just my fantasy. Oh, such poison was unknown to England and the police would say this is just my fantasy. But at the end I will prove it. As it happened many times before, I just need to send a small piece of this mask along with my findings to the Australian experts and request a chemical analysis. Edmund's innocence is clear. I'm proud to say that I have proven Edmund's innocence. But let's wait for feedback from the experts. Short time after this, uh, short time after this letter was sent, Sherlock disappeared in the Reichenbach Falls. See, he disappeared in and died. Boom, boom, boom. Results of the game: we spent an hour and forty-seven minutes and fourteen Ooh, seconds. I'm hungry. <laughs> well done. Did you well, enjoy it? This was fun. It was a fun time, thank yeah. Um It was a good uh, brain teaser. Yeah. And definitely very much like an escape room without having to get up and, and go somewhere roam around and, <laughs> and look deal with under people. Because you have everything sure. right there that you need. <laughs> So, what's the difference between this escape room and other ones you might have played as a game? I know that you guys, this is a new one for you guys, but for you, Kelly, for ours, I noticed that this one here goes in step by step. Um, is it the same? Is it similar as the ones like Exit or the Escape of the Game? Yeah, it was a more, a little bit more pointed as to what you, what things you needed right away. Uh, other games you kind of didn't know as much what you what you need for each stage and you might be working on a couple of different things at the same time different people could be doing that in this one it was more linear as to what you need to do first and next because you need each, each each individual piece to get to the next part how many players does this run realistically two two players two would you what would you want to play with more players less um so with four players, it, it kind of felt hard to stay, like to work with the whole team at the same time because everyone is trying to work on the same part of the puzzle and trying to share your thoughts at the same time can just cause some mischief and chaos. Uh, whereas where I was almost trying to solve it by myself. Um, half the time, let's see. No, yeah, that's about right. You want you play two players than four? I think two players would be better. Uh, it would be more of a challenge. For four players, you can kind of just mosey on and not really put a lot of effort into it. Rely like. on the other people. Yeah. Two hours fun? Too long? Too short? Um, uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It didn't feel like two hours, but I was kind of really trying to figure stuff out. Are the puzzles difficult? Easy? Somewhere in the middle? Probably somewhere in the middle. Middle. I think it was good. Actually, uh, it allowed it did get different harder. people. Yeah, they yeah. got harder, and it allowed different people to come in and say, "Oh, I know that 
kind of puzzle. Mm -hmm. I can do that. They one. were different enough in each different stage. They were all like the similar. Yeah, like the yeah, Sudoku yeah. one, and then I was afraid there was gonna be a lot of Sudoku. Sudoku. There's just one, just the one. So. There's a lot of logic puzzles. Yeah. No, uh, some of the puzzles were nice because you actually had to find stuff in the print to figure yeah. out what the clues were. Uh, that makes it difficult though because you don't know how hard you have to look for clues. Mm -hmm. Story-wise, any good? It was, was fine. It story? It was yeah, fine. It just. Was it immersive? No. 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 No, you're just trying to figure out the clues. That's it's not... just to help you move along with yeah. that. I don't care about the guy or his What do you wife. think about, uh, <laughs> Callie, the, the story from this one compared to the other escape room games you've done? The other escape room that I've done, the story was more, uh, like, personal because you were, like, in one, we're trying to help someone escape the room, and it felt a little more uh, rushed. This one is kind of like, Oh, it's a mystery, and we want to solve it. But mm. it didn't. It wasn't until the end when we discovered the mask had poison on it that we really felt a sense of urgency. Right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say that because that spoils it. <laughs> it wasn't until the end when we learned something about um, one of the main ele clue elements in the game that we felt a sense of urgency that we that solving the mystery mattered. Mm, good. All right. Well, last thoughts are. One through ten, Rob. What do you rate this game, and do you recommend it if you if people like escape rooms? Um, so the biggest issue with this, it's a one-time playthrough. Um, that being said, I would rate this a solid. I haven't played any of the other ones, so just to be safe, a six point five out of ten. Okay. Um, five would be average, not seven. Five is average for me. I would play another one again. Uh, I did like how this one was linear, though, or how this was linear. Um, I mean, that's kind of how all of them are, though, right? More or less, the other ones. That you so played. this one's definitely more linear than the other yeah. ones I've played. Yeah, you, could have you actually know you what you need to do, uh -huh. and even though it's unclear, you still have these pages. In some other ones, they actually will give you like five different things, six different all things. All at once. Which is yeah. better for more players, but also a little more confusing and time consuming. Okay, I could see that. So, so in that sense, since it is linear and you're just kind of looking at working on a series of puzzles, I, I do stand by my, it would be better either with either less time or less people. Okay. Yeah. Well? Uh, about the same. I mean, it's about a five probably as far as puzzle games go. Um, as my first one, it's not bad. I think it's a good... Would you play a Sherlock Holmes number two if they had one? Oh uh, yeah, just to try it out. I mean, as long as, uh, this one isn't very Holmesy like, other than the letter to Mr. Holmes and him not solving the puzzle. That's the only thing that any ties. To Needs him. more thematic. Right, and then there's a there's a little nod to Arthur Conan Doyle in there. So, but not that. Kelly. Uh, I'd give it more like a seven as far as if you like the escape room type game, you like puzzle game. Uh, I just uh, like I love doing the Sudoku one, and some of the other puzzles were were really fun to me. And other people were able to come in and do the puzzles. So I think if you, as long as you know what you're getting into, I think you'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. 